new loading screen in Minecraft. That's right, we're exploring 1.17 today. And, and, um, today I'm going to explore every, well, most of the new features in Minecraft. 1.17. And I'm also going to be finding... Oh, I didn't even see this originally. But I think that, um, ooh, it's, uh, I like this, 1.17.0. Um, I think that there are actually, like, geodes now and stuff like that. So, that's pretty cool. <sighs> and we're just waiting for my uh, old world, or my world to load. I, I think I just like, made it one day. And I never did really did anything else with it, so. It's the world we're using. And, um, how I actually found out that, why isn't this loading? This is really, I actually found out about the geodes from lag.zip, and there are actually, like, stalagmites and stalactites, I believe. This is really, okay, I finally got into my own world. And, um, yeah, okay, we are in, finally. So, first thing I want to cover is the spyglass. Really cool, uh, lets you zoom in on its stuff. Like this creeper. Hi, buddy. And, oh, I, I must, I actually filmed another video before this, but that didn't get published. Um, yeah, these are the glow skates. And I believe they're ink sex and somehow change, like, make your sign color, um, glow or something like that. Oops, sorry. Oops. But I don't know how to do that, so... There's a witch nearby. Great. And... I was just trying to see if the, um... If the goat would actually ram the zombie big man, but I guess they didn't. So first thing I want to um, cover, another thing I want to cover as well is that there are axolotls now. And let's just, um, where's, where's the axolotl? So there are the axolotls, and they're really cute. So let's just uh, yeah, bye. And these guys are super cute, but. There's another cool thing about them. Oops, I think I hit them too hard. Well, what they're supposed to do is, if they get damaged too much, they'll just kind of freeze in place and play dead, which is something they actually do in real life. Um, and they'll also attack, like, drowned mobs and stuff like that. So that's just kind of cool. And let's just, uh, where's the, yeah. So, if I hit you enough, you're going to start to play dead, right? Oh, they really do not have a lot of health, but let me just show you this in the water, because I'm not, I'm not very good at trying to be pleased. Oh, yeah, and they also attack fishes.
So I guess this is kind of like its own mini aquatic update too. Sorry, Mr. Dolphin. Get out of here. You're being replaced by axolotls. And um, let me just spawn in a ground mob real quick. It changed its kind of day. Oh yeah, the water also color also changed to like this deep blue. It's cool. That is strange, but not what we're here for. Um. Yes, drowned. Okay. And there's drip leaf too. Oh, they changed the drowned spawn egg. That looks like the axolotl. And let me just go get my axolotl friends real quick. Hey guys. Yep, they'll just start attacking. Right? And, um, uh, yeah, look. Look at this. He has probably regeneration, judging by the particle effects. And he's playing dead. The other mobs aren't attacking him. Because that's, I guess, just how it was cold coded. And that's actually what they do in real life, too, so. Well, they want to play dead. If they're in trouble. And these axolotls are kind of teaming up with this guy. Anyways. Next up, let's look at the drip leaf. This is only going to be a brief overview. So, this is not going to be like a long video. I hope. Oh, that's kind of cool. So, when you stand on the drip leaf, it starts to fall, but it can... Like, heal itself again? Listen, I'm, something tells me this is definitely going to be like, somebody's going to make a parkour map. All this kind of stuff. How do I get the small drip leaf to spawn? Does it have to be like hanging from a cliff or something? That's a lot of. Oh no, I spawned it. Okay, and. I want to see if there's... Okay, so they, I don't think they added the powdered snow in officially yet, but here's a goat. You ran me. So, yeah, goat's actual ran... There's also a new mob named goat, and no ran me. I'm just going to flush him down the side of the mountain. So, there's a lot to cover, and I don't know how you could spawn a small drip leaf, but anyway, yeah. Here's the drip leaf, and, um, oh yeah, let's do the ores next. So, they changed the ore textures, which is something I've seen in, like, I guess, snapshots, but... It just looks really cool, I guess, in your wars. And... Hi, you can live there. Uh... So, what else, I guess? Um... Well, 
Ores, they also added raw variants of, like, every ore. So there is ingots, and there's raw uh, variants of these. And when you smelt these, you get the ingots. So I'm assuming that, um, that's a little pumpkin, but I'm assuming that after you, oh no, I, I, no, I did test the stats. So after you smelt them, You will get the um, ingots. It's a method that I try, so I'm not making this up. I, mean, I think I just repeated myself. Just ignore that. <laughs> um, so I am actually going to f try to find a geode. It's in copper ore, actually. Let's see if I can't get like into a cave system. Oh yeah, they also added glow berries. We just I didn't even think about that, but there are also glow berries in Minecraft, which come from one of the new plants, which is, I, I forget what it is. But, yeah. And actually, this is kind of... Oh. Oh. Wow. So, I don't know if I will be able to find a Geo this episode, but... Yeah, because it's already getting kind of a long episode. So, I'll just cover a couple other things. So, they also added copper ore. Which can be, like... Um, yeah, I guess it's just found in caves. And like I said at the beginning of the video, they added... Um, amethyst shields, I believe. And some new other block. That's... I forget what it is called. It's like all white, but anyways. Um, to wrap this up, we're also going. I'm also going to show you deep slate. So I don't know if this is actually in the game yet, but it sure does look really cool. So deep slate is just like, well. I think it's going to be something that appears down a bedrock level. And there's going to be all these different variants of the ores. Um, for Deep Slate. And, yeah. So, I, maybe those will take heart, uh, longer to mine or something. But, I'm just making my own, um... Still, like, tight, my, whatever. Anyways, um... Oh, one last thing. I want to show you the cute little trees. So... Oh, yeah, here's calcite. Calcite. Okay, that's like a mineral or something. No, there's a lot of stuff to cover. And I can't fit it all in one video, so... I'll also just show you the budding am amethyst. So I, I think the idea is that eventually amethyst will form on top or like below or whatever these amethyst blocks if they're like, like buddy amethysts. Actually, maybe that's wrong. Hold on. I think it was from logged out tip. Uh, he said that it was cracked amethyst, but whatever. Anyways, and. We get bone meal. And yeah, it's a, called a flowering azalea. Bone meal it. Now it must be too crowded here. If I 
bone meal it, it'll turn into a nice azalea tree. And I don't know what a spore blossom is, but yeah. That ends today's video, guys. Bye.